Hello there fellow fragrance lovers, I'm super excited to be making these videos. I've just picked up brand new fragrance oils from arabianperfumeoil.com and we're going to be making them into EDP sprays. We're going to start off with our suggested fragrance, Spirit of Dubai Maidan. And oh my god, as soon as I opened this fragrance, it smelled amazing. It smelled like leather and oud and it was, yeah, it was, it had... Middle East written all over it. Middle East. Middle Eastern style fragrance written all over it. We do also get to use our brand new pipettes and brand new spray bottles. So we can give them a go and test them out and see what they're like. Hopefully this shouldn't be too messy because of these uh, additions. Um, but what I'm considering. Do I use the whole 1 milliliters for a 5 mil spray which makes it about 25%. So if I was to fill this bottle up with the whole decant of oil, it's going to be quite a high concentration of oil. So that will turn it into a EDP or maybe a perfume, like a perfume. Um, so I'm thinking, do I do half and then it's like 10%? Um, so it becomes 10% concentration, but then that's not very strong. So we only get one shot to do this, right? So... Um, We'll see, we'll see. I think I'm going to go for the half and then uh, see how it turns out. And then I've still got the oil if I want to just use the oil on its own. So let's, let's do it. So, going to open up this oil and I'll remind you guys and girls of what it smells like. It's a, it's a little bit difficult opening these ones up because they're so small. but It's got oud and leather in there and it smells really sophisticated, very manly, very mature. It's a nice, pleasant scent. Um, I'm not normally a fan of oud fragrances, but actually this one works really well and I think this one would be a compliment getter for sure. I just feel like people will think this smells good. Um, it will probably turn heads as well. It's quite a dark, deep fragrance. Uh, very heavy and very pungent as well. Bearing in mind this is roll-on oil, so <clears throat> it shouldn't... You know, the projection shouldn't be that strong. I'm not going to use the pipette for this section because um, because the pipette won't fit, but <laughs> it looks like the oil doesn't want to come out. What's going on? You guys seeing this? Made of glass, so I can't actually squeeze it. Maybe we will be using the pipette. Was there something in there? Surely not. Let's have a look. Pipette it is then. We might as well use our pipette. So, it actually... Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Very uh, messy work. It actually does tell us how many mils I'm uh, withdrawing, but... That feels like a good amount of oil. Pour it back in here then. Maybe need a little bit more, I reckon. It's not much there at all. So this pipette's supposed to hold two mil, two milliliters, so. Um, and this decant is only one mil, apparently. Wow. We've got still a little bit of oil left in there. Right, I reckon, I think that's going to be enough for now. We're going to add the alcohol to that. So now I've got to discard this uh, pipette without contaminating any other fragrance. So it looks like there is still a little bit of oil in there. Um, but I can't reach it with the pipette, so I'm going to call that a day. Shut that and then we've got some oil for any more experiments we want to carry out later on. And I think that's a fair amount of oil inside this 5ml uh, bottle, if it decides to focus. Because even if it's a 10% concentration, 
then it, we should still see similar results. What I can do is use a clean pipette and uh, extract the alcohol from our container. And I'll keep that the same pipette for the alcohol because we don't like waste, we don't like being wasteful. So the, f the best bit, just seeing them to the two components mix. And I've seen some comments about this isn't how you're supposed to do it, the oil um, comes already diluted or um, something like that. This isn't the way to do it. But actually, the results speak for themselves. A lot of these fragrances have improved and um, the projection has got better and the scent profile has improved, certainly. And I'm not just saying that. Um, I 100% have um, experienced that, definitely. Especially with some of the um, more well-refined oils, for example, from the APO and from Precious Pearls. Some of those oils really, really improved when mixed with alcohol. And we ended up with a beautiful final product. So you can see the oil's not mixing at the moment. So maybe it needs a little bit of time to actually get in there and mix up with the alcohol. I'll give it a little shake and we'll waste a spray or two. Let's close this lid, otherwise you may end up with alcohol everywhere. But yeah, so, so far in this journey, really enjoying it. Um, some of the fragrances have improved for sure. Um, my partner's really loving the Paco Rabanne Olympia clone. Uh, the oil turned into EDP spray. She's wearing that to work every day. And yeah, it does last ages and it projects really well. Um, so that's a win for Precious Pearls. Definitely full review to come soon. But yeah, um, it's been working wonders really. Uh, super long lasting and projection pretty good. And it smells very similar to the original. So um, yeah, did not expect that at all. So as you can see now, the um, mixture looks a little bit more uh well blended and more of a uniform color we have issues with the focusing of the camera here don't we right let's waste a spray then so they say you need to give it a little while for it uh to develop but um so there's a couple of sprays there oh yes kind of reminds me slightly of Tom Ford's ombre leather which is very strange but I suppose they share similar notes with that leatheriness and very 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 manly Arabian Middle Eastern style fragrance it was very much more pungent in that oil form now that I've diluted it maybe you have not used enough oil I can always top it up but um, it's uh, a lot lighter now but it's, it's still very very um strong and leathery and manly uh, but it's slightly lighter than when it was in oil form so it's a little bit area a bit more in the air a bit more easy going so whereas the the oil on its own was very strong very manly very powerful now that it's mixed with the alcohol it's um slightly more mass appealing easy going if you like um but yeah we'll give it a couple of weeks to develop and then we'll have a full review but that does smell pleasant it does it smells nice but they they do um there is a difference between the oil on its own and the uh EDP spray if you want something super powerful super manly almost aggressive uh the oil is the one to go for and now that i've mixed it with the alcohol of course we'll uh, update you with a full review once it's developed but my first experience, my first initial thoughts is actually it's sort of tamed the fragrance a little bit. It's uh, roped it in a little bit, made it more easy going, um, lighter, uh, less aggressive, less uh, leather heavy. But of course, it's, the notes are still there, but it's just less intense, less uh, amped up, if you like. That's probably the best way to describe it. And of course, like I said, We'll review it and update you guys as soon as we can tell the difference and as soon as we find out once it's developed fully. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are looking for buying this oil on its own, then from my initial experience, actually that smells fantastic. I don't know what it's what the similarity is like. I've never smelt, smelt the original, uh, but this smells fantastic. I don't know about projection and longevity, so I'll test it out. Luckily, we've got a little bit of oil left in there, so I can test it out the oil on its own. Um, but so so far, the fragrance itself smells fantastic. But I'll test it out and update you. If you're looking for something like this, then um, it may be an option, but I will let you know what I think of it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and goodbye.